Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Cooking with Me in My Kitchen. So today na wapeleka moja kwa moja hadi West Africa and we are going to be preparing some cabbage fufu. This is a head size cabbage and yeah, we are going to be cooking this. This. And so welcome and uh yeah. As you can see this is a very simple recipe that I'm going to be trying out today and you only need a cabbage and uh, this is oatmeal but you're not going to be using all of it we'll probably need like a tablespoon or two of this oatmeal so I'll start by prepping my cabbage and uh, I'll cut the size of cabbage that I want to use I'll probably need like a third of this cabbage. Yeah. And this is what I'm going to be using for my I think this is pretty small so I'm going to add another slice and I'm going to remove this upper part of the cabbage. And I'm going to wash this top part of the cabbage. After washing it, I'm going to roughly chop it into a size that my blender can handle. If you have a stronger blender, you can cut bigger slices, but mine is quite strong, but not that strong. So I'll have to chop this into a good size. So basically from what I learned, fufu is just ugali in the West African countries. So cabbage fufu is basically ugalia cabbage. So I'm going to throw this away because this is a uh, is the hard part. And my cabbage is ready. As you can also notice, I've not used the green part of the cabbage because I want uh, my fufu to be as white as possible. So this is the cabbage that I'm going to be using for today's recipe. It's not quite a lot, but if it's a lot, I'll just gawa gawa kiasi. I'm going to add this in the blender. Also make sure that you're using a very clean countertop and I'm going to add water to this. So as you can see my water is halfway. This is about half of this jug and this will facilitate a smooth blending and I'm going to blend this till it forms a very smooth paste so as you can see it's very smooth now we, i'm going to get rid of this water and you can use a sieve or a cheesecloth for me i'm going to be using this because i trust this more and it does a very nice job and i'm basically going to get rid of this water So I prefer using this because uh, you're in control of how much water you want to be left with. And in this particular case, I do not want any water. So I'm going to squeeze this off till I'm happy with the results. And then I'm going to put the cabbage, the strained cabbage right here. This is how it looks like.
So for the first round, this is the size that I've gotten. Uh, I think I'm going to use more cabbage than I thought. And I'm going to go in with the second round. And then I'm going to add the same water till halfway. And I'll blend this as I prepare more cabbage because uh, from the looks, I can see that this is going to be a very small fufu and I want to make a, a decent amount. So this is the size that I've gotten from half of a very huge cabbage, a head size cabbage, only this. And so I'm going to go in with my last round. This cabbage had too much water. So this is the amount that I've gotten. So because cabbage is very low in starch, uh, so we'll need a binding agent and I'm going to be using this oatmeal. This is oatmeal and I'm going to grind it so that I can get the fine particles that I'm going to be using for our binding out. I'm going to do about three. And now we have our oatmeal powder. Now let's dive into the cooking process and I'll start by transferring my blended cabbage into the sphoria. And then I'm going to put this on low heat. I'll start by medium. When the pot becomes hot, I switch to low heat and then we can continue cooking. So the beauty about this recipe is that you can never go wrong with as in cabbage hukuliweki ambichi. So even if you undercook it, there's no harm that will happen to you. So I'll continue keeping this. Once it has become hot, kabisa, I'm going to add in my oatmeal. Because you can see haishikani vizuri kabisa. Yeah, and I can also notice that it has become a little bit softer. Though haikuwa ngumu, but imekuwa softer kiasi. Yeah, as you can see now, it's very easy to work with. And uh, I'll continue doing this because I do not want it to stick at the bottom. becoming softer and softer so at this point i'm going to add my oats this is how it looks like i'll start by adding about a teaspoon yeah three quarter teaspoon I think I'm going to add the remaining quarter that I've returned. And this was it. So, so far I've used about a tablespoon. And as you can see, Saina Shikana Vizuri.
it's also very soft yeah as you can see so say me shikana vizuri but i think i'll just go in with another like quarter tablespoon but i don't think it's really necessary And also you can notice that the size is pungua. Yeah, as you can see, it's it has a very smooth consistency. And I overestimated that cabbage. Uh, it had too much water and you can see this is the amount that you've gotten from a head size cabbage and I can feel that he imeva just like ugali yeah as you can see it's very well done and the bottom of my pan has started to become brown and yeah so I'm going to take this off the heat and let it cool, then it will be ready to serve. Ooh, and there you have it. Our fufu is well done and it's ready. I'll proceed to finish cooking my okra soup and then I'll meet you on the other side as we do a mukbang. So today we are not having a taste test. Instead we are doing a mukbang. <laughs> 